Hi, if you're watching this, it's because you're going to need me to read your assignment. So let's go ahead and get started with the Apollo 11 stones. So this is an image of the stone, and up underneath it says Apollo 11 cave stone. Namibia, quartzite, it's from 25,500 to 25,300 BCE, and it is from a museum in Namibia. A significant discovery <clears throat> is the first uh, header. Approximately 2,500 years ago, 25,000 years ago, in a rock shelter in the Huns Mountain of Namibia on the southwest coast of Africa, an animal was drawn in charcoal on a slab on a hand-sized slab of stone. The stone was left behind, over time becoming buried on the, on the floor of the cave by layers of sediment and debris until 1969 when a team led by German archaeologist W.E. Wendt excavated the rock shelter and found the first fragment, which is above. Let's go back up and look at it. That's the fragment. Remember, it's the size of your hand. Okay. Went named the cave Apollo 11 upon hearing on his short shortwave radio of NASA's first successful space mission to the moon. It was more than three years later, however, after a subsequent excavation, when Went discovered the matching fragment um that archaeologists and art historians began to understand the significance of the find so indirect dating techniques in total seven stone fragments of brown gray quartzite some of them depicting traces of animal figures drawn in charcoal ochre and white were found buried in a concentrated area on the floor of the cave less than two meters square while it is not possible to learn the actual date of the fragments, it is possible to estimate when the rocks were buried by radiocarbon dating the actual archaeological layer in which they were found. Archaeologists estimate that the, stone, the cave stones were buried between 25,500 and 25,300 years ago during the Middle Stone Age period in southern Africa, making them at the time of our discovery, the oldest dated art known on the African continent and among the earliest evidence of human artistic expression worldwide. Now here is a map of Africa. It shows you where the Huns Mountains are right here. And it shows you where Namibia is. While more recent discoveries of much older artistic endeavors have corrected our understanding, consider the 2008 discovery of a 100,000-year-old um, paint workshop in the Blombos Cave on the southern coast of Africa. The stones remain the oldest examples of figurative art from the African continent. Their discovery, their discovery contributes to our conception of early humanity's creative attempts before the inventory, I'm sorry, before the invention of formal writing to express their thoughts about the world around them. The origins of art. Genetic and fossil evidence tell us that the homo, tell us that homo sapiens developed on the continent of Africa more than 100,000 years ago and spread throughout the world. But what we do not know, what we have only been able to assume is that art too began in Africa. Is Africa where humanity originated, home to the world's old oldest art? If so, can we say that art began in Africa? A hundred thousand years of human occupation. This is a view across Fish River Canyon, also uh, towards the Hun Mountains. 
The Apollo 11 rock shelter overlooks a dry gorge, sitting 20 meters above what was once a river that ran along the valley floor. The cave entrance is wide, about 28 meters across, and the cave itself is deep, 11 meters from the back to the front. While today a person can stand upright only in the front section of the cave during the Middle Stone Age, as well as in periods before and after, the rock shelter was an active site of ongoing human settlement. Inside the cave, above and below the layer where the Apollo 11 cave stones were found, archaeologists unearth a sequence of cultural layers representing over 100,000 years of human occupation. In these layers, stone, in these layers, stone artifacts, typically of the Middle Stone Age period, such as blades, pointed flakes, scrapers, were found in raw materials not native to the region, signaling stone tool technology uh, transported over long distances. Among the remains of hearths, excuse me, among the remnants of hearths. Ostrich shell, ostrich eggshell fragments bearing traces of red color were found. Other remnants of ornamental painting are evidence that eggshells were used as containers for pigment. So this is a picture here of the cave. And this is, the, they said here, it's the excavation site of the Apollo 11 stone. So that gives you an idea what it looks like. On the cave walls belonging to the later Stone Age period, rock paintings were discovered depicting white and red zigzags. Two handprints, three geometric images, and the traces of color. On the banks of the riverbed, just upstream from the cave, engravings of a variety of animals, some with zigzag lines leading upwards, were found and dated to less than 2,000 years ago. The Apollo 11 cave stones, but the most well-known of the rock shelter's finds and the most enigmatic remain the Apollo 11 cave stones. On the cleavage face of what was once a complete slab an unidentified animal form was drawn, resembling a feline in appearance, but with human hind legs. They were probably added later. Barely visible on the head of the animal were two slightly curved horns, like belonging to an oryx or a large grazing antelope. On the animal's underbelly, possibly the sexual organ of a bovide. Perhaps we have some kind of supernatural creature, a theranthrope, part human and part animal. If so, this may suggest a complex system of shamanistic beliefs. Taken together with the later rock paintings and the engraving, Apollo 11 becomes more than just a cave offering shelter from the elements. It becomes a site of ritual significance used by many over thousands of years. The global origins of art. In the Middle Stone Age period, in the Southern African prehistoric man, I'm sorry, I'm going to start over. In the Middle Age period, in Southern Africa, prehistoric man was a hunter gatherer moving from place to place in search of food and shelter. But this modern human also drew an animal form with charcoal, a form such as imagined as it was observed. This is what makes Apollo 11 stones, stone finds so interesting. The stones offer evidence that Homo sapiens in the Middle Stone Age, us, some 25,000 years ago, were not only anatomically modern, but behaviorally modern as well. That is to say, these early humans possessed the new and unique capacity 
for modern symbolic thought, the human capacity, long before what was previously understood. The cave stones are what archaeologists call art mobiliaire, small scale prehistoric art that is movable. But mobile art and rock art generally is not unique to Africa. Rock art is a global phenomenon that can be found across the world in Europe, Asia, Australia, and North and South America. While we cannot know for certain what these early humans intended by the things that they made by focusing on art as the product of humans, humanity's create creativity and the imagination, we can begin to explore where and hypothesize why art began. And that's the end. Thank you.